Hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we're playing more of Cookie Run Oven Break. We're going to be doing Bell Pepper Cookies Trial. I have a little bit of time to do this, but I felt like doing it today. I just realized it. He's Jimmy Neutron, and the little thing's Goddard. Doy! I didn't think of that. He's totally Jimmy Neutron, even with the little the, the hair bigger on top and into a little, like, swirly cue. That's the little pepper thing. He's totally Jimmy Neutron, and this is his laboratory. I love it. Okay, so now it's Jimmy Neutron on the magic school bus going to Dexter, Dexter's secret lab. But it's all cookie run. It's the crossover we 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 needed. I'm so happy. I'm also using the MacBook Pro, the new pet book, with malware jellies on it and whatever. So I'm using that for the event because you get a thingy by having the stuff do the things. And it's just, it seems like it's a decent treasure, kind of, when it actually transforms the jellies. Um, <laughs> when there are actually jellies nearby for it to transform, then it's it's pretty decent. But usually it doesn't, so it stores up a whole bunch of things that it needs to transform later, and then it just never gets around to it, and it, it expires. But I mean, it gives some, it gives us a decent amount of points for each of the jellies when they work. And it activates kind of quick. It's pretty good at destroying stuff, and that's nice. It, uh, it does a continuous stream of destruction if you're lucky enough for something to be in the way. It's okay. It's not the best in this trial, but again, I'm using it for right now, so that's just what I'm going to do. I think I upgraded you to level 5, yes. I won some of those as bonus rewards, and... Uh, I bought a little bit in the magic candy shop and was just able to get the magic candy created pretty quickly. So I actually have the ingredients all set up um, without needing to do too many more of the bonus missions. Although I got these missions over here. I just need diamond. Yeah, I'm actually just one away from getting a diamond. Oh, yes, here's uh, the recommended things for the trial. It It's interesting. They do recommend magic candy level 5, but you can have the little thing be weaker and then this combi in order to get diamond. I feel like it, um, I feel like you just need all of them maxed out. <laughs> and, um, just some decent treasures to help you. And then that'll help you get a score as well. So, yeah, you do what you can. You figure it out. Pepper butt, stop those mean cookies. Now, something I didn't realize when I first did this, I thought you were just supposed to punch. No, you're supposed to double jump and then very quickly dash. And every so often it doesn't exactly work super easily, but I can usually get it to work like that. And that's how you get extra points. Then he uh, creates a pile of little pepper grenades. And I love this. Look back there. It's a little console, and they have the little peppers drawn on it. And then there's everything in this lab is just metal pepper themed. Look how creative this is. They easily could have had it be bell themed. Like bell pepper cookie would have been like some sort of Christmas bell, whatever. But no. It's a little scientist lab, and everything is bell pepper shaped. Look at how cute and creative this is. I love it. It's it's just so charming. <laughs> and their little gears. Oh no, it's a little broken pep bot. No. And then over here, these little platforms are so cool, and they rotate too when you uh, when you press the buttons. It's just it's just really nifty. Now, I don't know if I should really jump on that button because it seems like it's a heck of a lot better <laughs> to not do that. Because it's easier to get the other malware, not malware, the other giant bear jellies. Now, you see, sometimes it's a little hard to get that dash to activate. There we are. But you get a lot of points if you can get the dash to activate. I also didn't know what the number three was for a while, because I didn't read the description for Pepper Cookie. So I was a little confused at first, because I was then trying to do the double jump thing, and it wasn't working. you got to get it at, like, the really top part of the arc. Look at these platforms. Look at how cool they are. Now, you can go through them, so if you ran into the wall, you technically are able to just jump over them, um, and you go through it. Say so here, look like this. You don't actually stop. Blah, 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 blah. Can't speak. You don't actually stop. Even if you run into the wall, you go through the wall. But it's cool. Look at those pepper cabinets and pepper tubes in the background. Even the jellies are in the shape of peppers. It's just so cute. And over here, you have little seesaw teetering things with little pepper cogs. And there's other little pepper gears elsewhere. It's so cute. I love it. 
So I have the pepper bot reward on the left. I'm actually going to back out um, just so I can acquire that, and then we can restart this uh, again. But I want to read the description for pepper bot cookie. So let's do that. And away we go. Pepper bot ultimate transform story. <laughs> Did you hear that? It sounds like Pepperbot is transforming. The brilliant mind behind the Pepperbot is none other than Bell Pepper Cookie himself. A cookie made from the brightest and finest bell peppers of every color chosen by robots from the latest high-tech bell pepper farm. That's a long sentence. <laughs> hmm... Bell pepper cookie himself. A cookie made from the brightest and finest bell peppers of every color, chosen by robots from the latest high tech bell pepper farm. So, bell pepper technically was partially born from robots. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if there's more to the creation of bell pepper cookie being born. That's interesting. Since robots chose the ingredients for this cookie, it's only natural that he believes that he has been chosen by the robots themselves to become the greatest robot scientist ever. Oh, wow. I mean, he's a living thing that basically was chosen by robots. That's, that's so interesting. Man, there's even more to Bell Pepper Cookie than I first thought. Wow. As... If he's trying to prove his point, he's already made several robots despite his young age. He just can't wait to give any mean cookie a taste of his pepper punch. Now, with so much to do, how could he possibly hang out with other cookie kids, other fellow cookie kids? How do you do, fellow cookie kids? <laughs> they can be so immature and incompetent. Instead, he prefers to be in his lab up in the attic, working hard to create the next-gen robot. But it, but seeing that his robots are looking more and more cookie-like, hmm, perhaps Bell Pepper Cookie needs a friend that will cheer up his hollow Bell Pepper heart. Ah, what a great backstory. They, just, they keep coming up with great ideas. I love that. That's so creative. Peepo. I know it's Peppo, like the pepper, but it just reminds me of NASA people from uh, Natalan. Uh, what to do for the thumbnail? Do I have Natalan and do Steve Buscemi as How Do You Do Fellow Kids, but it's with his face as the thing? Yeah, that sounds fun. If I can remember to... Oh, excuse me. If I can remember to do that, I am doing it. Bell Pepper Cookie's very first masterpiece. It has several trick up its trick. Oof! Cannot speak. It has several tricks up its sleeve, such as wiping the lab spotless and preparing snack jellies according to the schedule. All right, you set up the snack schedule for the robot. But perhaps its most critical, of, its most special ability is that it will come flying to Bell Pepper Cookie's side when it senses the cookie's frustration from failed experiments. Aw, that's cute. I like you. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can try and get some diamond. I'm brilliant. <laughs> uh, of course I am. <laughs> They'll never know I'm actually secretly not brilliant. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I am. But I appreciate the compliment, thank you. I need this for my self-esteem. Jump, jump, there we go. <laughs> I just need to prove that I'm cool. I'm cool, right? I'm cool. I love that when he jumps, his eyeglasses become the the, uh, the clean thing. There you go. You're absorbing stuff, and you're pooping out little pixel art peppers. That's so cute. I love this. Oh, the team is just so creative. Look at that other cute little pepper robot down there. Look how cute everything is. This game is adorable, and so much effort goes into it. It's just charming, and I love it. Yeah, and there's even smoke coming off the little destroyed peepos. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like you're killing your own robots to get through your lab. This is your lab, dude. This is this is your lab. First off, you can get the robots to just make stuff for you or collect the stuff for you if you need. Why are you destroying your own lab? Riddle me this. Why why are you doing that? Why are you blowing up your own lab? Is it to test the cookie bot? I don't I don't know. This is your lab. You should know what's going on. It's not like when they're running around outside and it's just like, oh, the environment wants to try and kill them. Like the jelly worms attack them and whatever. No, this is this is your stuff, dude. You built this to attack you and destroy you and whatnot. Why why are you why are you doing that? Why did you scatter jellies around your whole lab? I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> Let's just say that he's testing out running in the real world by turning his lab into an obstacle course. That's what I'm going to imagine. Now, what's also cool about that is the, the little seesaw thing is if you make it to the other side, um, it actually does tilt to the other side first, so it does recognize which side you're on, which I think is pretty neat. So it doesn't just move to the left like an automatic thing. It really does dynamically react uh, to what you're doing. And kablammy. Oh, did I do the dash enough times? Did I do enough of the dashes correctly? I was looking at the cool little thing that was moving. I didn't pay attention. No. Hippity hoppity. Skippity scoppity. Oh, whoop a doop. There we go. It's a little seesaw. Aw. They look like little seesaws, and then they're, they're playing around and kicking because he wants friends love when they set up the jelly formations to look like little things. It's so cute. It's so cute. This game is so charming. There's a ton of charm in every little detail. They didn't have to do it. They could have just done basic stuff, but they decided to make it really great. And that's what I love about it. There's so many little things that you just don't even, you don't even notice all, every time. They just kind of go over your head. But they spent a lot of time and effort making something creative that's cool. And I love these little metal peppers, with the, the little pepper cogs, and the little pepper, um, pepper-shaped bolts, not bolts, screws. Look at them. Look at the little plus shapes. Here, I'll pause it so that you can see. Look at that. Look at how creative all of this is. This is just, this is just wonderful. It's delightful. I love this. Oh, wow. Hey, the, the MacBook Pro has, uh, used up enough of its its jellies to do stuff. Nice. That didn't happen for a while. I'm glad. I'm glad it got the I got the the finished points. There there was something I did where it saved up like 60 of them and I just couldn't I couldn't use it by the time the round ended. Oh, and the backpack has a little metal claw that comes out of it to grab onto the little peepo. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, oh, NASA peepo is flying. It really is a NASA peepo. Like NASA, the space organization, instead of just NASA people, NASA pepper, NASA people. Sounds kind of like NASA Pequa, but NASA people. I just, I just love that his glasses also do the little anime, like, eh -huh. and then there's a little sparkle every time he jumps, just, eh -huh. <laughs> every time. It's just great. <laughs> and hippity, hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. Double jump. See, I keep thinking it's at the top of its arc. Is it a? It's not a single jump. It's the double jump, and I just wasn't able to get the last one. I just every so often it doesn't work. Oh, and I missed the other thing. Curses. Well, let's try and uh, we'll see if we can get diamond on this round. And if I'm just barely short, then we'll redo it. Look at all the spikes everywhere. Look at it all, some bikey McGee. All spiked up and nowhere to run. Oh no, the gear fell on the bad button. Warning, warning, warning. Oh, it's gonna be dangerous. Gotta be careful going forward. The rotating spikes on these blocks remind me of SpongeBob's dream in Battle for Bikini Bottom and the floating block puzzles in the SpongeBob movie game. The that's Yoshi's Island. That's not the music I was doing. 
I, I meant to do, rather. That's the music that I was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about if you ever played them, right? The floating block challenges where they had the rotating blocks and they had the spikes on them and everything. That's just what it reminds me of. Just because a lot of things remind me of those games because I love them. You gotta look that up. You look up the music to the game. That that game had a fantastic soundtrack. I love that game's soundtrack. You gotta listen to it, man. Yo, yo, dude, bro. Also, if I just play a little bit more in the guild run and do a few more of the custom runs, I can actually win the um, Rainbow Cubes this week. I was so close the last time, but I just missed it. And that receive the daily mission rewards five times is kind of annoying. I'm annoyed because it requires you to open up a gold chest every time, so I'm like, I don't want to do this, but it makes the week getting the weekly missions even harder. But I, it's, it's not unfair. They give you enough chances for other things, and luckily I'm able to do the other stuff, so it works out. I do like having the variety. Oh, um, let me check the events. Been running around a lot with this, and now I can get a bonus. I got a thingy. Ooh, there's, yeah, I got the 400 million points. Okay, I'm glad. I have three days. Oh, I'm so close to getting the 4,000 needed. I'm going to run a little bit longer in this mode with the Cookie Book Pro. Prepare to be peppered. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can try and get more points this time, because we were very close. We were just a million off. I know, only a million. Come on, jump. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And don't forget, you can still punch even when you run out of the, the dashes. You gotta you gotta remember that. Oh, okay, I have 30 here. If I can get the rest of these malware jellies, then I'll get the reward and finish the event. And maybe I'll switch out the, uh, the treasure, because I kind of want something else. This treasure isn't really doing it for me. Oh, there's a pile of stuff. Oh, I got them already. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna quit. I'm going to replace this. We're going to do one more round because that's about how much time I have left. I think I can do one more one more go of it. Let's see. Come on. Events. Yes. And now I got the thing. Hooray. New pepper book. Treasure mastery. You received all possible rewards. 104 mission points. Yeah. All right. So that's two of the events all taken care of. Nice. Take this. It's good for your DNA. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll do Wasabi's trial eventually. We'll we'll do that all all soon enough. But I'm gonna switch out the Pep Book Pro, the MacBook Pro, into a different thing. But what should I do? What should I use? I'll use my old favorite. These little cards. It's recommending that anyway. Oopa doopa doopa doop. No, I don't need to play with other cookies. I just need me and my pepper bot. Actually, hold on. Quitting again. We're gonna quit again. Cause I wanna read how his ability works. Hops on hops on pop and destroys approaching drones. Oh, the drones appeared as obstacles. I thought they were part of the background. I thought they were part of just the robots that appear. Didn't realize I didn't make the connection. They were part of the skill. Creates pepper um, pepper batteries at given intervals. Fill the charge gauge and hop on pop by collecting bell pepper batteries. While riding pepper bot, the slide button will shift to an attack and drones will start appearing. Press attack to destroy approaching drones with pepper punch. 
Upon double jumping, the jump button will shift to a dash. Press the dash to move forward quickly. Dash can only be used for a limited number of times. Once you've used all dashes, press dash to glide. Oh, wow. To glide down slowly. After you use all of them up, level up for more drone destruction points. Okay, so it is at the double jump. It's just, you gotta get it right at the arc of the double jump, so it's a little hard hard for the activation timing. I only need my robots. Okay, so it is... You see, there's, there's the punch. It, like, the button underneath doesn't change to indicate when it activates. You just gotta hope that it works. Okay, and the, the gauge finished a little bit too soon, so I didn't get to see gliding with the pepper bot. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I feel like it's a little bit, it's a little tricky to use, but it's an okay skill. It's pretty cool. I like, I just kind of like punching with it. It's just kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And the, uh, the dash is a little, a little hard to activate. I, I sometimes have a little trouble with that, and I don't know why. Because I think there's some other skills that activate with a double jump that you can press the button and it works just fine. But his skill, it, it feels a little unreliable. Um, I definitely love this event, but I feel like out of other cookies who are similar, you may not, you, you may want to avoid Pepperbot because you don't want to accidentally risk messing up due to, uh, due to it just not registering. Um, which I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. I imagine Pepperbot, you know, gives, Pepperbot gives a lot of points. So I don't know how Pepperbot is in the meta, but just yeah, just be aware of that. Just be careful. You For beginners, you may want to try and be careful of uh, using Pepperbot and a Bell Pepper cookie. Hippity hoppity jumping on our way. Gonna collect stuff on a downward slope. Hit a button with your giant head. It's like what people thought Mario did, hitting blocks with his head. Although, he jumps and he, he throws his fist up in the background and punches things. So he doesn't actually just bump, bump his head into things, but it looks like that. It always looks like he, he's just bashing his head into stuff. But that's technically not the case. No, no, no. Jump and dash. There we go. Jump and dash. The ice cream of the future. Oh, I saw saw that in the store. Hot Topic. They had a dip and Dots shirt. Part of me was tempted to buy it in the store. I was just like, no way, I'm not buying a dip and Dots shirt. And then the other part of me was just like, wait a minute, why would I ever say something like that? It's a dip and Dots shirt. This is a new kind of ice cream. It's my ice cream. Little Dots explosive flavor. They just make you want to scream. There's nothing like dip and Dots. Excuse me, there's nothing like dip and Dots. You gotta have the dots. And it's not just dots. The ice cream of the future. Zip and dots. The ice cream of the future. Zip and dots. The ice cream of the future. You know, I gotta see if there was some sort of dip and dots hosted event or dip and dots event or something back in Florida. I, I, I wonder, I, I'll have to try and look that up. For the that mystery that I was talking about along uh, on another episode <laughs> of the commercial that I know I had seen, I know I saw that commercial somewhere, probably on a public access thing. There's a lot of lost media out there if it just wasn't recorded on a tape recorder. But like, I know there was a variation to that Dip and Dots commercial that talked about the the thing, some some thing off off. The highway or something. And it reminded me of, you know, the first episode of Steven Universe with Cookie Cat. And he's, Steven does the jingle and he goes, now available in participating supermarkets or whatever. He said, and I love, I love advertisements that just break the thing and, and do a localized version or something. Um, like a stop and shop or shop right or some some store used to have the can can sale and they used to have these people doing the the can can and i would always get excited for it whenever they would show those commercials just because they was animated the the, the animation kind of reminded me of the red bull commercials except with other colors um a little bit just just due to the way that the animation kind of uh felt but like 
I remember those, and they were, they were, I remember the can-can sales, and then they would change the things that were on sale based off of your local area, so they'd have the, the general commercial, but they'd, they'd, they'd eventually change it, so it would be different things on sale, depending on whatever the thing was for the week, and it was always really cool, but, um, there was some version of the Dippin' Dots commercial that broke into saying, there's this event, uh, Dippin' Dots or something or other, and either Dippin' Dots were hosted at it, or um, it was a Dippin' Dots specific event. And I think it was some sort of event that had Dippin' Dots, and for whatever reason they used the commercial and sponsored it, or, or either they sponsored it or they just had the advertisement, and it was just, I don't know what it was. P part of me not exactly knowing, but having just the general feeling of it, existing is part of why I need to know. I need more closure. I should I should look that up at some point. I, I still need to look it up. There we go. Dash. Gonna do a dash. Gonna do another dash. Oh, I got hit, so we're not gonna get enough points. No. Pepper grenade. Will this be enough? No, that can't possibly give me so close. Uh, if I didn't get hit there, I could have gotten it. Uh, you know, I'm tired. I have a few. I have, I have more time to get this done. I don't think I can finish it at the moment, so I'm going to leave this here. So close. So very close. But thank you, friends. I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone, and this is Handington snoozing off. <laughs> I need to get to bed. Bye!